Will Smith doesn't just drive nice cars in the movies. His personal collection includes everything from a 1965 Ford Mustang to an ultra-rare Maybach. The actor is worth $350 million and climbing, so it's no wonder he forks over millions for various vehicles that get him around LA. He even has a couple things you wouldn't expect him to, like a more than $2 million RV he uses as a movie trailer and one very basic car that's actually one of his favorites. Here's everything you need to know about Will Smith's multi-million dollar car collection. Will Smith is a connoisseur of cool cars. From ultra-luxury to old-school vintage, even with millions of dollars to spend on vehicles, the only thing he loves more than a tricked-out Porsche or bougie Rolls-Royce is something classic. The highlight of his car collection is his beloved 1965 Ford Mustang, painted cherry red and kept in mint condition. The Mustang is one of the most iconic cars ever made, and Will Smith's baby is even more rare because it comes from the first year the Mustang was sold. The car has a V8 engine and comes with standard interior features like adjustable driver and passenger bucket seats, a floor-mounted shifter, and an AM radio. So sitting behind the wheel of this Mustang is like driving straight into the past. Will Smith's sweet cherry red ride would have sold for little more than $2,000 when it was first released, but it's estimated his mint condition model cost him about $40,000. Will Smith also owned a 1998 Bentley Continental T Coupe, which was sold at auction in 2015 to raise money for Make-A-Wish. The 90s classic can reach a top speed of 200 173 kilometers an hour, 170 miles per hour by the way, and go from 0 to 60 in just 5.7 seconds. The super luxury coupe has two doors and four seats and a 420 horsepower engine. It's estimated the actor's ride is worth about $120,000. When Will Smith's not busy cruising the streets of LA in a classic ride, he's got his hands on the wheel of a luxury ride. One of his vehicles is the Maybach 57S, a rare model that he introduced to his collection just before the production of the car ended. His custom version of the car boasts a 6-liter V12 engine and the power to go from 0 to 60 in under 5 seconds. The sleek exterior is black while the luxury interior boasts a Bose sound system and state-of-the-art navigation navigation system, plus high-end leather seats and leather and wood grain finishing. Since Smith has to also consider the security of his famous family, the Maybach also comes outfitted with bulletproof windows. The actor and his wife spent over $400,000 on the 57S and all of its customizations. Smith has also been spotted driving various Rolls-Royce cars since the earliest days of his career, but the one he keeps in his collection now is a custom Rolls-Royce Ghost. The Ghost is known for being a comfortable ride and is very popular amongst celebrities. The Ghost is also known for making your bank account invisible. The V12 engine allows the Ghost to accelerate from 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds, and it has a top speed of 250 kilometers an hour, 155.3 miles per hour, in case you were wondering. The interior is even more impressive. It features finely grained leather and real wood and metal accents, and massaging passenger seats. There's also a dual screen rear seat entertainment system, as well as an 18 speaker bespoke stereo and a mobile hotspot. Jada Pinkett Smith is often seen out and about in the Ghost and was rightfully upset after Papa Parazzi scratched a ride. The Ghost is worth around $300,000 without the customizations, so we'll put the value of the Smith's ride at about $350,000. Will Smith also has something every driver needs in LA, a cushy convertible, a Bentley Azure convertible to be exact. This ultra-exclusive four-seater convertible can zip from 0 to 60 in about 5 seconds and reach a top speed of 288 kilometers an hour. That's 179 miles per hour thanks to its V8 twin-turbo engine. Will's model has heated leather seats, walnut and leather trim, and a leather-wrapped steering wheel. It's estimated to be worth $370,000. Recently, the Bad Boy star has also started to look into going electric. One of his most recent car purchases is a BMW i8 Hybrid, a car that manages to be both incredibly stylish and good for the environment. First launched in 2014, the i8 is now one of the most popular plug-in sports cars. Some of the interior features include 12 speakers, two LCD display screens in the front, real-time traffic display, and lots and lots of leather. The exterior of Smith's car boasts pearl metallic paint and butterfly doors, and there's no doubt that the sleek and sporty look is eye-catching, even in LA. With customizations and a satisfying three-cylinder engine, Smith's i8 is estimated to have cost him about $150,000. When promoting Bad Boys for Life, Will Smith was spotted in another electric vehicle, the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. 
In a YouTube video, the actor moonlighted as a Lyft driver for the day and gave his fans a ride around LA. The Taycan features 750 horsepower and 774 pounds of torque with launch control. The result is a super fast car that can go from 0 to 60 in just 2.6 seconds, and Smith and his passengers were excited and maybe a little bit terrified while showing off some of that speed. The Taycan also lets drivers customize the way they ride with five driving modes – Range, Normal, Sport, Sport Plus, and Individual, the latter of which allows you to adjust the chassis and its height to suit your driving style. While it's not clear if Will Smith bought the car himself, was gifted the car, or was just borrowing it for the video, the Porsche is worth about $215,000, and Smith had so much fun that we're sure he either has or wants one in his personal collection. Since Will Smith is a family man, he can't always get the Smiths everywhere they need to go in a small electric vehicle. That's why he owns three high-performance SUVs. One of his current favorites is a Cadillac Escalade ESV. Obviously, Smith has the premium luxury edition, which features seating for up to eight people with plenty of legroom. The ESV has a powerful 420 horsepower V8 engine. The interior features Cadillac's signature plush finishes, as well as an impressive 38 inches of diagonal display on the completely diagonal dashboard with three separate displays. Another impressive feature is the partially automated driving assistance system. It keeps a safe distance between the Escalade and other vehicles and even traces lanes to help steer the SUV. Smith's model is worth $90,000. The Fresh Prince also owns a Mercedes-Benz GL450. It can go from 0 to 60 in 5.9 seconds and has a 4.7-liter turbocharged 8-cylinder engine with a 7-speed automatic transmission. The car can carry up to 7 passengers, so there's plenty of room for the whole family and some friends. It also has onboard cruise control, chrome door handles, and tinted glass windows for privacy. It even features rain-detecting wipers, and the interior is super high-tech. There's wireless streaming, 14 high-performance speakers linked to a surround sound system heated and ventilated front seats, and even heated and cooling cup holders. The Smiths paid about $100,000 for this high-tech home on wheels. The final SUV rounding out the actor's collection is a Lincoln Navigator. The gigantic SUV comes with some things that the Smith family probably won't need in LA, like a monstrous 8,700-pound maximum towing capacity. But it certainly doesn't hurt, right? The 450-horsepower vehicle with its twin-turbocharged 3.5-liter engine also features convenient amenities, like a Wi-Fi hotspot spot that you can access from 50 feet away, and ultrasonic sensors that can locate an available parking spot and then do all the hard work to get you safely in it. It also has an awesome cruise control feature with radar that scans the road ahead and detects slower traffic, and it can automatically brake or accelerate. It has 20 strategically placed speakers, and with the Lincoln Connect app, you can use your cell phone as a key. The SUV costs about $76,000. But perhaps the most impressive vehicle in Will Smith's collection isn't really a car at all. It's actually a giant two-story mobile mansion nicknamed The Heat. The ultimate RV is used by Will Smith as a movie trailer. It has 22 wheels and over 1,200 square feet of floor space. There are 14 TVs scattered throughout the RV, as well as a 30-seat screening room on the second floor. There are stairs leading up to the second level, and it features things like blackout curtains to dissuade the pesky paparazzi. The second floor of the trailer transforms by raising the roof using eight pistons that push out 2,000 pounds of pressure, raising it about 42 inches to provide enough space for a comfortable screening experience. The actor hangs out here whenever he's filming something. It makes the perfect movie trailer because it features a huge lounge room for him and his co-stars to catch up offset, as well as a large wardrobe and some mirrors for his movie makeup. There's about $125,000 worth of technology in the trailer, and the bathroom alone costs about $25,000. It includes a steam shower with glass that becomes opaque with just a touch of a button. In total, the heat cost Will Smith an astonishing $2.5 million, but anyone can rent out the vehicle if they have $9,000 to spare for an overnight stay. But the next vehicle in Will Smith's collection is surprisingly modest, especially compared to a multi-million dollar RV. Smith might like the glitz and glamour of life in Hollywood, but he still likes to go back to basics every once in a while. He owns a Ford Taurus SHO for everyday driving. The SHO stands for super high output, so it's a high performance version of the full-size car. The actor also drove a Ford Taurus SHO in Men in Black 3. His off-screen Taurus is estimated to be worth about $35,000. So that's Will Smith's personal car collection. But what about all the cool rides he's driven in the movies? The actor put the 2020 Porsche 911 to the test in Bad Boys for Life. 
Smith's character drives a brand new Carrera S in the film as a nod to the 964 generation 911 Turbo he drove in the original 1995 film. The Carrera S is worth almost $100,000, while the 964 911 Turbo can sell for $140,000. In iRobot, Smith even got his hands on a car that was made just for the movie. The fictional Audi he drives was a futuristic concept model made just for the film, but if it was for sale, it would probably cost upwards of $400,000. The film also gave him the chance to hop on an awesome robotic chopper made by Orange County Choppers just for the film, as well as a bike that does actually exist, the MV Augusta F4750 SPR. It's worth about $9,000, and Smith was lucky enough to be paid to ride one. In I Am Legend, Smith's ride of choice is a cherry red Shelby GT500 Mustang that reminds us of his own red Mustang, and it's also worth about $40,000. So these are some of Will Smith's most popular and expensive rides on and off the screen, but who knows what else he's been privately cruising around LA in. His personal collection is worth about $4.5 million if you include the RV, or $1.9 million if you don't. Now we gotta know, are you impressed? Did you know that just the upholstery in Will Smith's RV cost more than $30,000? That's almost as much as his Ford Taurus. Don't forget to hit that like button while you're here and subscribe to our channel for more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.